Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming Telecom video, let us discuss a recent news that the Xbox One's GPU, that would be the 10% reserved amount of GPU performance, is actually being changed to only 2%. In other words, games developers are going to find that the Xbox One's GPU is now going to become faster. So I've done this as an article as well, so you can actually see breakdowns of the performance differences. I'm going to write that up as an article, plus as well, link to the Twitter and some other sources. But this comes to us from an insider by the name of Pete Dodd. And he has said on Twitter, and I quote, 10% reserved GPU is getting turned into 2% soon. And with that, then he talks about some other stuff that's not even slightly relevant. Basically, he's going to Puerto Rico. And then he stated in a different tweet, GPU for that certain system had 10% reserved, 8% video, 2% voice. Voice will remain. That video, 8%, will be up to developers as it should be. Now, there are a couple of things that I want to go into before I call the video. Firstly, this has not been confirmed by Microsoft. However, he seems very confident in it, so hopefully it's true. Second thing, it's only 8%, right? Now, this doesn't mean, of course, that the Xbox One's GPU suddenly has more T-flops. When we discuss the Xbox One's GPU of 1.32, that was the total amount available before the reserve was taken into account, right? So basically, you took the 1.32 and then you said, okay, well, now we've got to remove 10%. Now, you're saying 1.32 and then you remove only 2%. So in effect, you're roughly getting, uh, rather than about 1.24, you're roughly getting 1.3. I'm obviously rounding this up a little bit. Um, so it's... 8% performance, so just to put that into perspective, for example, if the game is just about running at, let's go with 30 frames per second at 1080p, if you, you know, that basically means you're going to be getting between 2 to 3 frames per second extra. This is obviously uh, very arbitrary and not exactly being technically precise, but roughly you're going to be getting 2 to 3 frames per second more. That means that, in other words, it's going to be a little bit more, st uh, well, the frame rates are going to be a little bit more stable. It also means that if, for example, a game is only just off hitting, say, 1080 60 um, for, say, less complicated games, then, you know, it, with some optimizations, it's more possible that we're going to be seeing higher resolutions internally. It doesn't mean, however, that the PS4's GPU is going to have a rival. From what we understand, um, I'm not sure what the reserve is allocated for the PS4, for the GPU. I've heard some theories that there's a small percent uh, allocated towards OS functionalities, but it's not been confirmed by Sony or anyone else. Therefore, I'd probably, that's why a lot of the time I just round up with the PS4 and say 1.8 T-flops rather than 1.84. Um... But even if you were to say that 1.3 versus 1.8, there's still a significant disparity between them. So I don't really think you're going to be seeing the situation of the Xbox One and PS4 seeing like a complete like-for-like -like parity. Hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we're going to be seeing um, you know, better ports and releases. And obviously Microsoft have just indicated, well, there has been some indications from a different insider, Fuwei, that the Xbox One's GPU will be doing better in terms of performance thanks to driver and API updates. That's not necessarily saying that the system is going to suddenly, you know, drastically improve by itself in isolation. The Xbox One is going to improve, but so is the PlayStation 4, so there's always that to consider. Regardless, this is only a good thing in my opinion. It's basically extra performance, and I never quite liked the fact that Microsoft did this, but I understood why. Um, but I think it's a better decision on their part to do it this way. Um, 
Now, hopefully, we're going to have a bit more information on this soon. But for now, I'm going to leave you guys to it. And uh, I'll do some technical analysis on this in the next couple of days. I've been very, very busy moving websites and stuff today. So it's been a bit of a pain in the butt. But I just wanted to keep you apprised with the news. So anyway, as I said, keep tuned for more technical analysis and updates. I'll see you soon. Take care, my friends. Bye for now.